Hey everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today we'll be going over the extensor carpi radialis longus muscle. I will go over its location which includes the starting point called the origin, the ending point called the insertion, building on with its function, and then finally providing you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle. So to start off we'll go over the location and then we'll build on from there. The extensor carpi radialis longus muscle is originated on the distal third of the lateral supracondylar ridge and also the lateral portion of the epicondyle of the humerus. So these two points are located on the outer portion of your elbow so if you have your palm facing out it would be on the top of your elbow. Now that lateral supracondylar ridge is located just above the knuckle portion of your humerus so you're looking at the distal third of that. And then the lateral epicondyle of the humerus is located pretty much right on the knuckle portion of your humerus. So the starting point would be right about here. And then it runs down along your arm and inserts onto the back of the hand onto the base of the second metacarpal. So now that we know exactly where this muscle is located on a body by looking at a body you can also pinpoint it on yourself but I will also insert here a kind of a drawing or a photo of the actual muscle on a skeleton so here's that photo for you for functions of the extensor carpi radialis longus muscle you're looking at functions such as wrist extension, wrist abduction, as well as weak elbow flexion, and weak radio ulnar pronation. Okay, and that's to a neutral position. So now that we know the location and the functions of it, now I can provide you an exercise that would be best to strengthen this muscle. Now the exercise I'm going to provide you guys is an exercise that you guys can use um, during your regular training. This particular exercise, now I will show you only one exercise. The reason why that is, is because it is a very powerful wrist extensor and it is used quite a lot in sports such as tennis and anything that requires that wrist extension movement for a powerful movement okay so now I'm going to go ahead and provide that exercise video for you remember there will be only one exercise and if you wish to attach it to your regular training program you can go ahead if not this will be just kind of a FYI so here that is that video for you, excuse me. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all watching if you made it up to this point. Thank you very much. Hit the like button if you liked it. Pass it on with a share and share it with anybody, your friends, family, whoever. Uh, just to kind of get the video around, pass along the knowledge. Um, if you choose to add it to your training, great. If not, this is kind of a FYI, possibly for a class in college or high school or just to gain some knowledge. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next week.